Hello people of the internet, welcome back. In this video I will be talking about why the terms deaf and hard of hearing are actually super confusing and can cause issues in the everyday lives of deaf and hard of hearing people. The main issue is that people generally have a poor understanding of hearing loss and the terms deaf and hard of hearing have so many different definitions. Some people use the term deaf specifically to mean someone with a profound hearing loss or someone with no residual hearing whatsoever. I am profoundly deaf with a little residual hearing, which many people don't realise is a thing. However, many people, especially nowadays, are using the word deaf to describe someone with any degree of hearing loss. There is the same issue of multiple definitions of hard of hearing. Another point is that your level of hearing loss is determined by what you can hear without hearing devices and doesn't take into account what you can hear with hearing devices and that some deaf people don't wear hearing devices. Also, the same person might may have different levels of hearing at different frequencies or differences between each ear. For example, I, who is profoundly deaf, may be able to hear more than a moderately deaf person without hearing aids. There doesn't seem to be much awareness that many deaf people, including profoundly deaf people, can actually hear some stuff. People can get really confused when I say I'm deaf, but I have my cochlear implant and can hear with it, but not perfectly. Some people think that because I can't hear perfectly with my implant, there is some sort of problem with it, there isn't, that's just the limitations of cochlear implants. Some people also think that because I have a cochlear implant, I'm not deaf anymore. And I have to explain that I'm still deaf. When I take off the processor, I hear nothing. And even when I have the processor on, I still don't hear the same as a hearing person. I've seen the same misconception with hearing aids as well. People think that if a deaf person has hearing aids, they can just hear perfectly when that's not the case. Um, in the UK recently, there have been two deaf contestants on two very popular shows, TV shows. The first one was Rose Ailing Ellis, who competed in Strictly Come Dancing, a dancing competition. She has hearing aids and one week of the competition, her hearing aids broke and she mentioned that it meant she couldn't hear the music and people got really confused about how she was deaf but could hear the beat of the music with her hearing aids but not without them. Anyone with hearing loss would not find that confusing at all. It really shows how little people understand about deafness. The second deaf person to star on British TV lately was Tasha Guri who was on Love Island, a dating show she is profoundly deaf and has a cochlear implant and can speak clearly. She didn't sign on the show, but she does know BSL. My mum actually saw online comments about people not believing she is deaf because she speaks so well and can hear some things. Again, this is super common and normal for a deaf person. It's just a weird situation for people to think that I'm not stereotypically deaf enough to use the word deaf, but then if I say I'm hard of hearing, they'll be surprised that I can hear absolutely nothing without my cochlear implant. Even in the deaf community, it can be really confusing to know what someone means when they say they're deaf. Not because I want to judge anyone's hearing loss, but because it's useful to know, because what is helpful for someone with a mild hearing loss or a unilateral hearing loss might not be what's beneficial for someone who is profoundly deaf. Even amongst the same level of hearing loss, I need to get an idea of the person before I know if what's helpful for them is likely helpful for me. For example, I find a radio aid or remote microphone works brilliantly for me as a cochlear implant user who uses speech as my primary method of communication. It probably wouldn't benefit someone who uses sign language only or someone with a mild hearing loss who may find it just to be an extra hassle. Um, this is why I always try to explain my levels of hearing and what hearing devices I use 
so people can decide if what helps me is likely to help them too. Hearing loss is such a broad and varied spectrum, so please remember not to judge people based on whether they use the term deaf or hard of hearing or assume that if they can hear anything at all, then they must be lying about being deaf or exaggerating. Please remember to stay kind and open-minded. Thank you for watching. Bye!